Hey guys, so this week's video, I am on a new lake that I've not fished in the summer for walleyes. Here in Southern Wisconsin, gonna be using live scope. But I'm here with Julie. Yes. I'm here Hi. with Julie, real quickly, she kind of handles some of the boat launch and we were just chatting real quickly she informed me educated me that there's this new invasive weed called the stony wart what starry is stonewort starry stonewort that is starting to get into some of the lakes around here it's an invasive species the most important important message i guess i want to just say real quick is before you enter or when you leave always drain your live wells okay and at times spray a little bleach in there uh, to clean them out if you haven't done that and check your trailers so when you pull out after you're ready to hurry up and go fishing just make sure there's not a bunch of weeds hanging on your trailer get out on the water because there's a lot of invasive species especially weeds now that we're seeing on all sorts of lakes and it's and it's Transfer really transferred late. by the trailers or the live well so all right i'm gonna go fishing thanks for the education yeah. and uh here we go all right guys so i'm getting started here uh, I'm on a new lake here in southern Wisconsin and you know hopefully the videos that you're seeing with me using live scope um, you're learning something because I am learning a lot because I don't normally do a ton of walleye fishing in the summer and when I get a day off or a windy day like today where we got to cancel a trip because too windy for me to get on Lake Michigan I love the challenge of coming to a new lake that I've never fished for walleyes before ever so i've never fished here for walleyes fished here once for crappies um and i've ice fished here once but i have no idea where the walleye set up so i'm going to do the same thing i've been doing in the last few weeks in the summer i'm gonna it's a fairly deep clear lake i'm gonna look in that 25 to 35 maybe 40 foot range for fish on the brakes i'm just gonna drive around and look and then i'm gonna go out in the basin and I'm gonna look for suspended fish. Now I've only got a half a day to fish today because I gotta meet my buddy Justin. My, my heating and air conditioner just broke at home. So I'm gonna just check it out. We'll see what happens. See if we can put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on them. Here we go. All right guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's, my, here's me right here. And all I'm gonna do is just cruise. Oh, we don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna cruise this big point and look for fish. Just gonna go right around it. And all I'm doing is just looking to fish these inside turns i'll get on the break and i'll just go around the whole lake on the break a lot of times you're just looking for points like this see this point right here this point on this side i'll check that so that's the type of structure i'm going to check today work the edges i'm going to look for fish look for walleyes that's the goal is to catch some walleyes on a lake i've never fished before for walleyes and then i'm also going to go out in the basin and i'm going to look to see if there's uh, population of suspended walleyes that I can catch out here suspended. Now this lake has definitely got a little bit more of an algae bloom or color so uh, we'll see what they want to eat. Got him! Got him! Gotta be a walleye! Yes, suspended. That's a walleye. We are out here in 47 feet of water. 47 feet. This is going to have to be a nice walleye if I'd guess. Yes. Oh no, I left my net at home. Darn it. Just realized I left my net at home. We're going to be hand grabbing walleyes. Let's have a look here, guys. On the jigging spoon. He came up and ate it right away. Oh, nice walleye. Real nice walleye. There you go. We score. Let's bring them to the back of the boat so I can grab them. Oh, yes. There we go. On the jigging spoon, guys. Everything eats a jigging spoon. I love it. Fish number one. New lake. Suspended walleyes. That is perfect. There he is, guys. Chartreuse crush. 20 incher that one is gonna be dinner tonight i've been eating a lot of fish i love eating walleyes i don't keep any big ones but i will keep my two or three now and then for dinner and this week's video maybe we'll do a little catch and cook how i like to catch them and how i like to eat them
Got him. What do we got? Pretty good fish. Whatever it is. Decent fish. I don't know, they just want to eat the jigging spoon. Another nice walleye. Another nice walleye, guys. We just trying to slap up a little walleye dinner here locally. And that's what we're doing. Oh yeah. Nice one too. Real nice fish. Now I do not have a net. So it's a good chance I might lose this fish. Oh boy, he's I'm gonna go in the back and net him. We gotta go in the back and net him, guys. We're going to the back. Let's see if we can get him. Hey, you nice fat little walleye. Oh, come on. Hey. Oh, yes. Yes. There's the deal again, that half ounce hot spoon with some UV tape. We sell that UV tape on our, our website now, so check out the link in the bio. Just cut off a piece, tape it on, that adds more flash. But, man, what a beautiful fish. Nice 20 incher, fat one. This one's gonna be tasty. We're gonna do a little catch and cook today. Show you my favorite recipe for eating walleyes. Here we go, yes! Turn my GoPro on. There you go, Tony. We are in 62 feet of water. I don't know if you guys can see that. I am hooked up. Of course, I did not turn on my chesty, but we got the GoPro in the back rolling. The goal is to get a limit for a fish fry. And I think we're there. That's it. Oh my God, did he eat it. You can't even see it. You can't even see the spoon. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. I do not believe how good these spoons work. There he is. Wow. What a beautiful eater. Fish number three for me. And that wraps up my limit fish. All right, we're gonna do a catch and cook. Show you my favorite way to eat walleyes. I love cooking up fish. I eat a lot of fish, I eat a lot of venison, wild game, I love it. I have a big garden. It's one of the best rewards right here, guys, is being able to catch your own fish, eat your own fish. I love it. Harvest, eating, providing for yourself, right there. All right, guys, so we are back at my house. I just want to real quickly show you a little tip when you're filleting your walleyes. So I'm going to get my electric fillet knife. First thing I do is I like to take the cheeks out right here. just peel that right off like that throw it in ice water but the tip is at the end here I'll show you it's gonna go right down the backbone here with the fillet knife all the way down move this out of the way flip this fillet over a little more all right so here's what I want to show you right here this part so normally um, when you take out the ribs here, the rib bones here, you try to get them all out. But I want to show you something here, what I do. I start it just like this, get it going a little bit to about here. And then I just take my hand and I just peel. I've been doing this and that peels all those rib bones away. That way you get yourself a nice little thick chunk of meat here. So when you go to take the skin off, You've got yourself a nice thick walleye filet. I like to put them right on ice water. 
and now we will show you how to cook them. So if you haven't tried that, just get it started on the rib bones, and then just take your hand, just pull those ribs, and it'll, they'll just peel right off. That way it saves more meat. All right, guys, so I just got done filleting those fish and uh, walking back to my little garden here. I, I don't know if you guys, do you have a garden? Leave me a comment, um, but I've got all sorts of stuff in here. We got dill, we got basil, we got cilantro, um, we got snap peas, we got peppers. I love coming here after I catch fresh fish, whether it's salmon, putting fresh dill on it, chopping up, making cilantro with some fish tacos, we got green beans. Um, zucchini, eggplant, cucumbers, all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna do some organic peas and some squash, uh, oh, I'm sorry, zucchini. And um, that's it, we're gonna cook it up here. I'll show you in a second. All right guys, so real quickly, picked a couple of uh, zucchinis from the garden. So all you're gonna do is just grab a, Hannah. What, me? I forgot what this was called. It's oh, called a peeler. Yeah. All right, guys. So, step number one: we just picked the zucchinis from the garden, and you know what you have to do, right? All you got to do is grab yourself a peeler. We're gonna peel them, and we're gonna chop them up, and then we're gonna throw them inside the pan and cook them up. Step number one: peel zucchini. Step number two: chop it up, and then we're gonna chop up some onions and throw them in the pan. All right, Tosh chopped up a bunch. We just have butter, a bunch of the zucchini here. So that's gonna take probably a good 25, 30 minutes. Kind of medium, medium high heat. And then we'll just put salt and pepper on it. So the zucchini, and then we're gonna put an onion in here. And I'm gonna chop up an onion and zucchini and salt and pepper, that's it. And we're gonna do the green beans, snap pepper. What do you say, is that good, Hannah? And it says yes. All right. All right, guys, real quickly, just added a little bit of salt and pepper. Yummy. All right, guys, so here's what we've got I've got a third co uh, corn flakes, panko, and corn cornmeal in this bag right here. Then I have the catch and cook right here. And so what I do is I don't even have to put it in an in a egg wash or flour, I just take it one half and then the other half I do the catch and cook that goes on really good the girls don't like it too spicy I would eat the whole thing with catch and cook might just put a little little bit more of this on there pat it down nice and hard good to go all right we're gonna take care of our fish just like that and then we're gonna go blacken them outside all right guys, so I'm just making it out. It's getting late, we're losing light, but I've got a burner. A lot of times I like to cook outside in the summer because I like to go really, really high heat. So we got on fairly high heat. I'm gonna let that sit there a minute or two. And then I'm gonna add a lot of butter. I'll add the fish and at the end, throw some Parmesan cheese on there a little bit, melt it, then the LeBlanc sauce. Yummy. All right, butter's getting really hot. See how it's smoldering? That's what you want, we're gonna add the fish. I got Tosh helping me out, thanks baby. All right, yep, let me just add them. Yep, go ahead. Sometimes that heat gets a little bit too hot, I just pull it off a little bit. A little more butter? Yeah, maybe a little more butter too. Gonna take some Parmesan. Oh. At least the Parmesan yeah, I'm, I'm all over the board. That's all right. Put it on there. Here's what we're gonna do. It takes about eight minutes with the fish. High heat, butter. Then I add Parmesan. You don't have to add Parmesan, just the fish with the LeBlanc sauce is awesome. But this is great. The girls love it with a little Parmesan and that LeBlanc sauce. All right, here we go. It's kind of what the finished product looks like. Little melted Parmesan, little breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put some LeBlanc, lemon on it. I'm gonna do one more batch and we're done. All right guys, we got the fish all cooked up here. Melted some Parmesan cheese over it. I cooked it in butter. Got our, what is that hunt? A zucchini. Got the LeBlanc here. All right, Tosh's gonna do a little taste test, grab a piece. I'm gonna put a little LeBlanc on it. 
or whatever, a lot, whatever. A little LeBlanc sauce right there, and a little lemon on top. Oh yeah. That's it guys, that is perfection. We'll get some zucchini. But you gotta tell me how you gotta tell me how we've already tried zucchini, even though it looks yeah. doesn't look the greatest, but it's so good. It's really good. Tell me how the fish is, real quick. We are wrapping up this video, Tosh. You're the taste tester. My wife, Tosh, the engineer. How is it? Is it good? Alright guys, this is one of our favorite recipes. We learned this when we were down in Florida. The LeBlanc um, sauce and we do it with walleyes. It's like awesome. So try it. Thanks for watching this week's video. A little catch and cook. A little different than what we normally do in my house. I'm going to eat some fish. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know. Have you tried a LeBlanc sauce on walleyes or any of the fish, saltwater fish you've had yet? It is the bomb. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next week.